All right, today uh, we're gonna work on how to build the structures. Um, should have done this uh, before. We did a um, impossible figures uh, study. We started it. Uh, we started with the triangle. We started um, square, and then we're gonna keep going and until we finish with um, M. C. Escher's stairwell. But Oscar uh, Rodersvard uh, from Sweden is the one who is responsible for all those nice, wonderful designs. Uh, I'm going to quickly finish. So when you design these boxes, you see that? Just align it. Right? And you know there's going to be another box. Right? Align it. And same thing. Align with this. And uh, that helps you to meet the items go together well, right? Align with the top, right? And align with this part all the way. So it becomes more accurate. See all the way from there. And same thing, align with there, align with the top, right? And same thing all the way down and on the bottom then it goes like that and the shadow so the, once you decide what to do with the shadow you can draw the outline of the shadow but you don't you don't have to make it too dark because you got to decide later on uh, what you're going to do with it so if you look at this uh, study everything is grounded so that means this is touching the ground even though I made a little connection uh, so that's what we're going to be doing uh, later on so shadow is the key to make the structure that's connected or it is above uh, things like that if you want to float this object above this one let's say there's empty space and then i'll float this one then there's going to be no shadow and then this shadow will be where about two one two and then the shadow will be around here right so that's what we're going to do so in the isometric um projection the it's not like a perspective everything is same right if you create the same structure Farther go away, still it is the same, right? We don't follow the perspective; we follow the axonometric uh, projection. So if I go further this way, if I move, then it's going to end up here. So there are three directions axis that you're going to go. This direction, mid here, and that direction, and then mid there. If I uh, move this one up vertically, right? Never mind about the uh, shadow. Then let's say this is floating. This is underground. Then this is going up, and the meeting there. That's what it meant by this line. And if I go down this angle, then it's going to become like this. Let's say this is a uh, elevator up and down. Right? This is exactly the movement that it's going to show. So once you figure out these directions all throughout, of course, we can create uh, different angles, but that's another study. Okay. So what's going to happen is, what if I want to connect this? Well, then all you have to do is connect them and it become one. So in that case, What's going to happen is you're going to be sh shading this whole uh, region and then it becomes one section. Right? And then there's going to be a shadow here. Right? So always you can move to the better positions, but don't worry about now. Right. Uh, we're not going to go too far with this because the shading is 
not the whole point, but that gives the structural uh, distance. Right? So now everything is grounded together. But let's say I want to uh, make this one connect. And then this whole thing becomes one. Then your shadow wall go this way. So I'm going to create a shadow in this box also so you can see. And this shadow part. Right? Gonna go above. Right? And then shadow continues. And of course, this side will be getting dark too, right? So suddenly the structure that was behind, right? Because you made a connection, it falls, right? Okay. And so this is the interesting part that remember when we were doing the, uh, the impossible triangle, right? So if I make the connection here, Right, so this becomes one, right? And then this whole thing, if I do this uh, shame sh shading, this becomes L shape. So this one is no longer behind it because of the shadow and the structural connection, right? And then interesting part is this, what if I just like an impossible triangle, want to connect this part and this part. So do not look at the bottom parts, right? Maybe I'll, right? And then I want to connect this side to behind the structure. Right? And then what happened? That becomes impossible triangle, right? So if there's a space, if I extend it more, that's going to be more reasonable. So that's the confusion because of the isometric uh, characteristic of isometric drawing. These things are possible in the drawing. Okay. All right. So practice this connection to different parts, right? Side by side, up and down, uh, different angles, right? Again, these are the angles that's going to expand the basic angle, right? You can always create a box and then slope these things and then create a different angle of the structure that goes in, right? Let's say it goes to the underground, right? And yes, that's possible, see? Okay.